Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to run independent groups t-test in NIME. So for this, we will go in NIME Analytics platform. I'll activate read from here, CSV reader. My data set is in CSV format and that's the reason I have activated the CSV node. Let me browse my file. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this lecture series. I will attach the data set which is in CSV format, heart one, click open, apply, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. Here we are having a resting blood pressure. We want to see that is the blood pressure significantly different in male and female or not. So what will be my null hypothesis in this case? Null hypothesis is blood pressure is not significantly different in male and female. Now, how we will run this in nine? So for this, I'll activate independent groups T test. Double click on it, right click on it and configure. Now, I want to compare the blood pressure according to the gender. So I'll activate gender the first group is male second group is female now let me transfer resting blood pressure here because we are comparing the blood pressure press apply click ok right click execute again right click and click on independent groups t test now the same thing i have copied in my word file let us see the interpretation first of all you will have to see the p value it is more than 0 0.05. What will be my interpretation? As the p-value of the independent sample t-test is more than 5% level of significance, we fail to reject the null hypothesis, which means that the blood pressure is not significantly different in male and female. Right. Further, this thing can be confirmed even by the descriptive statistics. Let us right click on it and click on descriptive statistics. You can see the mean of male is 132 and female is 132.212. So the difference is not so large. The same thing I have copied here. Now let us take one more exercise. Again, we will go back and right click on it and let us see the data set again. Here we are having a blood pressure and here we are having the details of the patients who are having the heart disease, yes, and those who are not having the heart disease. Let us compare that is uh, the blood pressure significantly different in those who are having the heart problem or those who are not having the heart problem. So right click on it and configure. So here, the only thing which we will change is the heart disease, the patients having the heart disease, yes, those who are not having it, no. And we are comparing resting blood pressure. Apply. Click OK. Right click on it. Execute. Again, right click on it and see the independent groups T test. And just see the P value. So if we assume that the groups are equal or not equal, in both scenario, you can see the P value is less than 0 0.05. It means that there is a significant difference in blood pressure. Uh, in the patients who are having a heart disease and those who are not having the heart disease. Okay, how much is the difference? Again, right click on it and click on descriptive statistics. You can see those who are having the heart disease, their mean blood pressure is 134 and those who are not having the heart disease, the mean blood pressure is 130. So this is a way you can carry out independent groups t-test in Nine. For more videos on Nine, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Nine.